we work with Nomad Scope on my iPad. Uh, I'm gonna bring the iPad in also so y'all can just take a look at what I'm talking about. All right, so just to give you an idea. So this is a 3D model that I just created using this application called Nomad Scope. Just created this 3D um, male model. Um, this is something I'm gonna be using whenever I want to do a character in 3D. I'll have this as my base, um, and then I'll be able to manipulate um, the faces, the body. I just redid arms um, and I added a hand onto it also. Uh, and then this is something I had before. One of the issues I realized is the version that I created of Blue Jay, it's a very high polygon model, and because of that, it's like super hard to upload into this program. Um, mix, mix ammo. Um, this is something that Adobe created, and it allows you to upload your 3D models um, if you set them up in the T pose that you've seen right here, and then from there, you can actually rig it so you can animate it with pre-can animations that they have there. Um, the reason I'm actually showing it to you in this fashion is I uploaded the character, I set up the rig, and now what I'm going through is a series of different um, actions that it can do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, superhero or combat. Let's try combat first. Um, so we're gonna put up some combat stuff. Um, like this is one called Taunt. And what's kind of neat is this is the character that I just created. You can actually see the 3D model. Um, now it's taking on the animations that you're that you're seeing there. What is that? Oh wow. Enable skeletal. Wow, the skeleton is a mess. Because <laughs> it's a really high polygon model, too, believe it or not. So now this will allow me to pan around. And then this allows you to zoom in. So it's a pretty decent model. Um, the other stuff I wanted to show is just like the different, uh, where was the option? You gotta zoom out a little bit so you can actually see it. I'll pan a little bit back too. So it's pretty neat, all of these different options. So it, it came out really good. I, I didn't expect it to be this good, but it came out really, really neat. So I like a lot of that stuff. Like swinging a torch at somebody. And then I'm gonna switch over to just to some of the superhero motions animations that they have. Um, search. Let's do um, superhero. 
So like you can see some of these. And what's kind of cool is you can also rotate in different from different angles and different point of views. And you get to see a lot of these actions. And this is like my third model that I've made, so it's actually pretty cool. Your brother is here. Just so you all can see but yeah I just wanted to show this real quick um, you can bring your 3d models and what's nice is all of this animation that you're seeing here can actually be bought in the uh, um, it's a blender and then you can actually download the animation details and then bring this into blender and then actually use it in there but yeah that's what I just wanted to show real quick